Hello everyone, this is how you factory reset a Mercusis H70X Halo wireless mesh system. So in my setup you could probably imagine that either you've changed internet service provider or uh, you've been given a set of these and you don't know their Wi-Fi password. Um, so in my case I've configured my WAN settings wrong and also I don't know what the Wi-Fi password is either. So the app is telling me I don't have any networks um, and I basically need to be able to reset these up from scratch. Doing this will wipe any settings you've got so if you've had them working in the past and you have parental controls on it that will all disappear um, but it will at least get them up and working again. We will need an unbent paper clip or a sim eject tool and on the main one, so in my example this is the main one, this is a satellite and this is a satellite which are all connected via the wireless mesh. So these only have power going into them and this main one also has my internet connection going into the back of it as well. On the back of your main one, in between the power and the first network socket is a small hole and below it is the word reset. This is the hole that we will put the paper clip into and uh, I will tell you when I'm going to press the button and when I'm going to let go. You only need to press it for probably about three seconds but uh, you'll see what the lights do as well. So I'll tell you when I'm going to press it and I'll tell you when I'm going to let go of it. So I'm going to press it and the uh, light will go green and blink a couple of times. So here goes, pressing now and it's blinked three times. I'm going to let go now. It's not particularly important on the timing. I'm sure you can press that for a second, two seconds, three seconds or even ten seconds uh, and it will have the same effect. So the main one starts flashing green, which interestingly is not in the manual. None of the uh, LED status lights have green in the words. So um, that's quite, just quite fun. So it starts flashing green, goes solid green. These ones will still be red or flashing red for the moment. Uh, if I remember correctly, the one that has gone green will then go into its blue setup mode. So now this is flashing blue, which means ready for setup. I need to create a new network. Uh, if you already had a network which is showing within your Mercusis app, you will need to ignore that old network and go to create a new network. It's a halo and, oops, let's ignore all of the uh, stuff. Turn Wi-Fi on and it will look for halo. Should ask whether I want to join a new Halo network, which I do join, it will then, so that's now connecting to the main one, and uh, it will then ask us for the initial setup. Found it connecting to Halo, now we should be asked for some settings, so I'm going to put this into the study. Dynamic IP, which it is for my internet connection, next and create your Wi-Fi network. So this will be uh, reset up Mercusis Internet 1, 2, done, next And it should now ask on the phone whether I want to connect to the new network that's been set up. These two, out of interest, uh, are still transmitting the old Wi-Fi name, but very soon, they now I've set up this new one, 
as long as they came from the same pack that your main one came from, these should automatically re-adopt the settings from the main one without you having to do anything to these. You might have to power cycle them, um, but they should bring across that new setup uh, from the main one. If your two satellites or one of your satellites in your setup is um, from a different kit, you will need to factory reset and then follow the instructions in the, under the plus sign of re-adopting the satellite into your main network. So this one over here looks like it's sorted itself out already and also this one over here has sorted itself out. Earlier when I was testing and I had uh, one of these quite far away from the rest of the network it did need to be brought closer and uh, then plugged in and then it adopted the settings and then I could take it back to where it previously was. So they may need to be in fairly close proximity um, to, to automatically set up but in my case it seems quite reliable um, that as long as they came from the same set they will automatically reconfigure so I haven't had to power cycle these or to use the factory reset on these I only had to do it on this one and then follow the the setup on the on the app so hopefully this video has been helpful to you if it has it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my youtube channel you don't need to have the video notification switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help thank you very much and I'll just leave this videoing to show that um, these go green for a bit and then they'll go back and then they'll appear on the app over here as well. So uh, the end of the video will just be me showing that these do reappear. There we go, these lights have gone solid white again and it shows three nodes again are back on the app. This little graph goes a bit weird for a bit and then it will sort itself out and go uh, horizontal instead of uh, a little bit broken and vertical. There we go. Hopefully this video has been great and of help to you. As I say, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't need to have the video notifications on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.